So this is a kind of a, like a textbook example um, database schema around merchants, users, countries, etc. Orders and order items. Now, the orders are individual orders, like order one with a number of items, which may have you know, many, many order items in that order. Those order items are made up of products. So let's say we have a query and it's running against each of those tables, the orders here, the order items, and the products. The first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna scoot this over just a little bit and zoom out so we can look at it like this. Now let's see here, what do we want? What what do we want to get out of this? Let's say we want to create a report that's really, really fast. So with, with these three tables, one, one of the quickest ways to speed this up, if you have the option to mutate your data however you need to, or to import and export stuff in and out of tables, et cetera, one of the quickest ways to speed it up is to denormalize the data. Um, some other options may be, depending on how much data you have in the tables, to set up an index on particular columns within a table. But the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to set up a denormalized table specifically for reporting purposes. And the way you do that is you take this schema that we have here and you start to denormalize it. So let's see, I'm gonna go down and the way this tool works, DB diagram is I'll just type in table and then I'll call it the reporting table, right? And then in this, let's see, we'll have, we're gonna do it by orders. So the orders will have many order items, which will be products. And we'll want a little bit of data from each of these things, such as the quantity of the products in the orders. So we'll go across all three of those tables and we'll denormalize them like this. We're gonna start with int, we'll call it order, or not int, but order ID. And that's an int in this table. And then we'll have, let's see, oh yeah, we want to, we want to have user, user ID too. So it looks like it's related back to users even though there's no, there's no connection here between these two tables, but that's fine. So we'll go with user ID. Um, let's see, well, yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll also have full name which would be varchar. And then we'll want country code, because that'll have to do with shipping, right? Where the person is, or at least in relation to the shipping address, probably, like if we, if we have the shipping address, but this is just, you know, we're working with the data we have here. So then we'll have for that, that's the user. So there'd be one user per order or orders for that user. So then we'd want, Oops, let's see here, uh, status, we'll call it order status, order status, and then we'll have the order created at, and we'll go with the default data types that they show here, whoops. Then we'll also add, let's see, order items, and then that looks, it looks about good. So this table is made up of flattened out data from this. So then we would have to create a query that would join across those tables and be used to populate the reporting table, either through triggers whenever those other tables are updated or some other mechanism to ensure that the reporting table is kept up to date. And now we can look at some of the queries. Like let's say we're gonna GraphQL this, this query. And in the previous example, we, we'd have to go across orders, order items, products. So let's write out that query in GraphQL. We'll do, let's see your orders. We'll do ID, status, and then let's see your, see there's the user ID, but the relationship's not drawn back to it. But we're gonna do, so yeah, here's what we want to do. We want to do product. There's the product ID, name. Oh, there's the merchant ID, but we'll do that in a second. Let's your price, status, order items. 
we'll do, let's see here, which will be, oh yeah, it'll be quantity, and then the product ID, name, price, and status here. Let's get rid of this, because orders is our top level. But because of the relationships, the GraphQL makes this pretty easy to get all of these fields. So let's run that query. And it'll, of course, be empty because I have no data in there. But this query exemplifies what you would need to be able to put this into that table that we were looking at just a bit earlier, right? So now the table over here, this one, reporting table, so you were missing country code and a few other pieces. But the general premise of the idea is you take all of this, and these are joins from the SQL perspective. GraphQL makes it very easy to draw out these relationships and connect these using Hasura like this. So then you have this query, and you could even set up a subscription and then a trigger to the changes in that table to automatically feed the read-only table. So that then whenever reporting is done and they look for order reports or whatever at the end of the day or something like that, and they want totals, they'll have that read-only table, the denormalized one, available for reporting. And then in addition, a lot of the time you can add indexes or something like that to the individual tables. But in this particular situation, you have the already fast read-only table that you can now add indexes to in addition to. So you're going to get extremely fast performance whenever you denormalize the table, denormalize the table, and then add indexes to that denormalized table, and then feed it through a subscription or something like that based on this GraphQL query, like I've just shown. So that is one of the best ways to speed up a query by getting rid of the joins or minimizing the joins and only querying off of a main like read only table that's fed through a subscription or some type of trigger and updated throughout the day, something like that. So that, that is the answer pretty much for that question. Um, there are of course some tertiary aspects to enhancing that too, but I'm not going to go into that. Just wanted to cover the main bases of enhancing the database and really using the Hasura tooling itself to build out a denormalized table to make your reporting a lot faster.